Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Today is the day! Wienerfest! <laughs> we won't be back until late! Did you hear that? Yeah. We have the house to ourselves all day! Huh? I call dibs on the couch! No way! And Wash, I'm counting on you to be my watchdog, okay? <laughs> okay, boy. Scare away all those burglars. Burglars? For real? Like on TV? Oh. Hmm. <sighs> Nap time. Yay! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nap time! Bro. Are you two nuts or what? Yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. yeah. Wash, go away! And if I find you, you're a big, fat, rotten pistol sprout! Sorry, Sam. I've got to focus. What? Oh, come on! You're gone for hours! This is our chance! Yeah, well, that was before Mr. Livingstone asked me to protect the house from burglars. No. <gasps> burglars? You mean like on TV? Uh, yeah. I guess so. Burgers? Are we scared of burgers now? Duh! You... Burglars! Like thieves who go into houses and steal people's stuff. There have been a bunch of burglaries in the neighborhood. Thieves have been stealing all the pet squeak toys. Their kibble. But most of all, the TV set! Sam, <laughs> I'm the watchdog. I've got this. Watchdog, you? You think you could protect this house with your ridiculous bark? First of all, I've made some major progress with my barks. And second, I know how it's done. I've seen watchdogs on TV. All I have to do is make the rounds and secure the perimeter. Wow, he is like so brave. I want to be a watchdog too. Let's go watch TV and see how it's Shall we get some popcorn first? All right. No one. Nobody in here. Nobody here either. Nobody here either. So there's burglars trying to get into the house and there's no reason we should be worried? Of course there's no reason to be worried. Wash is here to protect us. unusual in here. Wash, it was just a joke. There haven't been any burglaries in the neighborhood. Did you say something? <sighs> Nothing in here. Nothing like a good burglar movie. But I'm still waiting to find out how you secure a perimeter. <laughs> Rest easy, guys. Nobody's in there. Find the house keys. Didn't you put them in my purse? Mm -hmm. You didn't. I, I did. I left the keys in the door. We're locked out. Maybe just maybe the door isn't completely closed. Maybe it will open all by itself. 
Friends, I have secured the perimeter. There isn't a burglar alive who'll be able to break in here. Ah! Someone is trying to get into the house. If you hadn't secured the perimeter, I'd even say it sounds like a... A burglar! A burglar? Wait a sec, this may all be a mistake. I'm going to try all my keys, you never know. Just a visitor. Who are the living stones? Let's look through the mail slot. It is a burglar. A visitor would ring the bell, yeah. and the owls have keys. Burglars, cool. Go, wash, go, save us. Yes, risk everything. Um, actually, you see, I'm not really sure how to. Of course, you know. Do like you learned on TV. Well, um, I secured the perimeter, but uh, I don't know what comes next. Bark, Wash, bark! That's what watchdogs do! But I don't know how to bark. You said so yourself. I take back everything I said. Please bark, pretty please, make those horrible burglars go away! Go, go away, Washington! Washington. Do, do it, it, please! <gasps> arf, 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 wolf, wolf, arf! Yeah. Oh, yeah. we're goners! They're gonna steal our toys and kibble and TV! Rush, I want you to know you're the best watchdog we've ever met! Even oh. though we've never met another watchdog! <clears throat> but he's not a watchdog! And for once in my life, I really wish I were wrong. Okay, so maybe I'm not a watchdog, but I am going to protect you! Listen up! Here's what we're gonna do. You guys are gonna go by and I'm gonna... Mm -hmm. oh, I'm gonna try the kitchen door. Maybe if I can wiggle through the cat flap, I'll be able to reach the key. <laughs> yeah! What happened to you? You know, I really wish you'd start putting your tools away. Do we keep flour in the bedroom? Uh, okay, let's try the bathroom. <laughs> ah! oh. oh, why, oh, why did I put all my bath stuff above the window? be a watchdog, but I sure know a thing or two about watching TV. No. No, Wash. Calm down now. Calm down. It's me. You can't believe a burglar. He's imitating Mr. L's voice, so we'll let him in. Get in through the front door, and Washington didn't even recognize me. And I gotta tell you, his bark is freaking me out. <sighs> big problems require big solutions. Hello, Mr. Locksmith. Well, those stupid burglars won't be coming back anytime soon. Oh, who's the greatest watchdog? Watchdog. Who's the greatest watchdog? Not good. The burglars have brought backup. Yeah, that was some major tools to open the door. No! Only one thing left to do. Eugenie, Sam, we gotta zip out of our costumes. <laughs> what? The burglars won't expect to see wild animals in the house. If we can scare them, then we're home free. Me too. I'm gonna take off my costume. Did you 
open the door? How much do we owe you? Forget it! It's free! As long as you promise to never call me again! The living stills are back! Quick! We're home! Good dog, good dog. What a great watchdog you are, Washington. Unbelievable. I almost wonder if he didn't understand when I told him to protect the house. Oh, no. Beware of dog. I never realized what a great watchdog Wash is. It's only fair to warn intruders they don't stand a chance around here. <laughs> Did you hear that, Vic? Beware of dog! So, who was it that said I was no watchdog, huh? Honey, you coming? We're gonna be late. Coming, dear. Taco Fest, here we come. I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. So, I put the energy commuters in, I activate the directional multiprocessor, and good as new. Yay, it's fixed! Who's a techno wizard? Who? <laughs> <laughs> a simple nap on my own armchair. Please let me know when I can come back. One more magic trick, one more. Well, since you insist, now that I fixed it, I can do this. Oh. Or this. Ha! Oh. Or this. Big hurry. He's not just a vacuum cleaner, he's a computer. And thanks to his fancy computer parts, he can clean your house without you. So go out and enjoy life. Great home. Now, there is a piece of technology worthy of my talents. And Craig is a great name. It's for me! Is it your new action figure? No, but almost as cool. Oh. I am Craig. I What's am going old. on? <gasps> is that Craig, the computer vacuum cleaner from TV? You know him? Of course! Oh, sweetie, you're the best! Now we can go out and enjoy life! I bet that was quite a splurge. I, uh, yeah, right! Nothing is too good for my wife! Oh. Scanning, scanning, scanning! scanning. Yeah. Incredible! Diagnosis, healthy! You are likely busy professionals. It is okay. Craig is home. Oh, let's not waste another second in this pigsty. <laughs> let's go to Mexico. Let's meet my new friend. Craig, I'm Washington. Hello, I am Craig. Oops. Sorry, dude. No hands. Look. I hear you're very smart. Guess what? I am too, so I- Hello, I am Craig. I am home. Hello, I am Craig. I am home. Oh, uh, okay. We'll talk more later. I am Craig. Huh? I am home. Uh, ah! <gasps> Dirty. Uh, excuse me? I just so happen to be the cleanest person in this house. Now, I would like to sleep. Dirty. <gasps> Oh, wow. oh, the uh, and how may I help you? Oh, 
help you? I think she's trying to sing. Pick a, vac vac a vacuum cleaner, what? yes. And also a computer. I ordered him. For a scientific experiment. What? You're the one who brought that monster into the house? Technically speaking, it wasn't me, me. <laughs> Ow, again. <gasps> Yippee! Look what he can do. Craig, over here, buddy. Well, Craig, you don't really seem all that smart. My expert opinion tells me there's a glitch in his fancy computer parts, and that's a job for a high-tech whiz, which is me. Washington, stay away. Send that monster back to its lair. We have a broom. Trust me, I know what I'm doing. I think you broke him. <laughs> now we're talking! I love hacking. Nice job, genius. Okay, so he needs a minor adjustment. <laughs> It's a bad dream. It's a bad dream. Wake up. Wake up. Come on, morning. <laughs> okay, Craig. I'm starting to regret this purchase. I know where the receipt is. Faster, Sam. You're going to get your butt vacuumed up. <laughs> Come on, get lost, you. Bad appliance. Do I even need to say it? You're a big dummy. Thanks for a great day. No, but seriously, we're safe up here. Safe? Oh, sure. Everything is fine. In fact, I think I'll just... Oh. Hey, look! Craig wants to play tag, too! find a way out of the house. Can you guys hear me? Huh? Barely, you guys! Vic, you'll lure Craig. No way am I going to be breakfast for that crazy vacuum. You brought him into this house. You make him leave. Okay, look. I have other great plans. Just head out the door. Forget the plan. Dirty, dirty. Dirty. Sam, remember the plan. Dirty. This way. Come on. Dirty. Dirty. Sam, we're good. Come on, quick. Dirty. Dirty. Real slow now. No sudden movement. I don't want to run away anymore. I'm stronger than that machine. You don't scare me, you stupid can! Oh! oh. 
Captain! You guys, give him more stuff to suck up. We gotta fill him up! No way am I going back to the forest! Oh yeah? You'd prefer to be swallowed and ground to a pulp by a killer robot? We got no choice, Wash! Farewell, Dream Home! outside and enjoy life again. We'll pretend we never saw this. Let's go back to Mexico. I still don't understand what went wrong. Well, on the bright side, I no longer wish I had my computer. <laughs> Looks like I made a very smart exchange. Cut, cut, cut. I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. I'm 
still confused about who we're calling. The vet. I didn't want to say it in front of the pets. You know how they hate the vet. Remember what happened last time. Oh. Oh. Oh, yeah, right. Not a good day. Uh, I have the flu. Leave me alone. You poor thing. Sorry and stuff. If I could just sneeze, I might feel a little better. Ooh, the flu? Hmm. I never get the flu. Never. Never? The second I get a sniffle, I just do an old forest anti-flu ritual, and that's it. Flu gone. Here. Hi cha, hi cha, hi cha choo. 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 That's for wild animals only, not for sensitive house pets like Vic. It could overtake her. You're right. Who knows what could happen? Let me think. Who has her? Oh, food! Yeah. Food? <laughs> <laughs> oh, hello! <laughs> it's the vet. Uh, the vet? Yes! <laughs> Not a good day. Susie, it's up to you. Doc? Yes? It's our cat, Victoria. I think she's got the flu. Normally, I'd bring her in, but she's just so weak. Could you possibly swing by our place and check on her? Well, keep her hydrated and watch her closely for the next couple hours. If she's not any better, then I guess I'll come right over. I should probably give the rest of your animals a once-over, too. <laughs> ew! 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 Germs! Ew! Gross! <laughs> Who's ever heard of a vet being afraid of germs? Well, Doc, you do sound busy. I'll, uh, keep you posted. The vet will be over very soon if Vic's not feeling better. How long do we have? Do you know? Uh, to keep him out of here. Way too risky. You mean he could give us shots? Or clean our ears? Or use the thermometer again? Yeah. <gasps> or find our zippers? <gasps> <gasps> yeah, exactly. Gasp! And if that happens, we're back out in the wild. So we gotta get Vic better. Got it? Yes! yes. <laughs> Great news, Vic. Nurse Washington and his team are here to get you well. <laughs> this patient needs a cold cloth. Water! 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 Hmm. This patient needs ice. Ice! 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 ice. The patient needs warmth. Thank you. Well, gotta say, Vic, you look better already. Right, Sam? Good job, guys. High five, all around. <laughs> Does this mean we can have our food now? Oh, no, Vic! You're not supposed to wrap yourself in blankets when you're sick. Ah! <gasps> Honey! Vic has gotten worse! You'd better call the vet and tell him to come over right away! Mm -hmm. No, we can't get our food now. <laughs> uh, hello. Uh, hi, Doc. We've been watching Vic, but she's not getting any better. My wife just burned her finger on her fur. Fine. I'm coming now. 
he's on the way. What to do? What to do? Ah! No. I'm here to help make the sick go away. Why don't you go away? I have something really important to say that I think will really help. Okay, here goes. If you don't get better, can I have all your yarn balls? How does that help me? I thought it would motivate you to get better. Uh, 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 if I could just sneeze. Chili peppers, of course! Mm -hmm. I mean, chili peppers to sneeze. I bet that'll clear her up. Risky, but it's our only option. Our ancient forest anti flu ritual. But Washington, we can't. What choice do we have? We gotta try something. The vet'll be here any second. Huh? The vet? How come nobody told me the vet was coming? I can't do the thermometer. Uh -huh. Washington, please do your forest magic. It's my only hope. Hmm. Hi, cha, hi, cha, hi, cha, chu. Hi cha, hi cha, hi cha, chu. All together. Hi cha, hi cha, hi cha, chu. 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 Wow. Well, I hope he's coming soon. We have a situation right here. Mm. Mm -hmm. Hey! I can breathe again! Wow! Now I won't get the thermometer thanks to you guys! <laughs> Thank goodness you're here! She's like a limp little rag! There she is, Doctor! <laughs> so, nose dryness, good elasticity, hmm, right, tongue flexibility, perfect. Is this some kind of joke? This feline is fit as a fiddle. Wow, you are sickly. <laughs> So sick and back, your fur looks almost like a costume. I better get my thermometer and take his temperature. Oh, the humanity! I'm freaking out! Glad it's not me. Hi, Ch Hi, Ch oh. uh, ah! Yes, yes, your dog is definitely sick. Ew, ew, gross, germs, ew! Just give it one of these every four hours. Ew, ew gross, ew! Forget my dog! Great vet coming all the way out here? That's a professional at work. Hi -cha, hi -cha, hi -cha, I mean, just look at Washington. He's better already. Let's go buy a cake to celebrate. That was close. The forest anti-flu ritual works every time. <laughs> <laughs> Most of the time. <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Look what I got! Truffles! You did! 
didn't. I did. It's not every night your boss comes to dinner. Honey, you're a genius. Who doesn't love truffles, right? They cost a fortune, but... <sighs> These babies are gonna get me a tasty raise. The boss man will be very impressed. <laughs> You better keep your little nose out of these, Miss Victoria. So look, it's super simple. First, you throw it to the quarterback, who throws it to the runner over here. Hey, are you listening to me? <laughs> Football is fun! Get it! Yeah, you got it! Yes! That smell! What is that? Why is that so familiar? Uh, what's up with Sam? Oh no! I remember it now! That smell is the smell of truffles! <laughs> Those precious truffles, they're nothing but trouble. They turn Sam into a maniac. They are his one true love. He loses control around them. Of course, there's not a wild boar in the world that can resist a truffle once he gets a taste. Yeah, we all love that smell, but you're gonna have to find a way to control him. Because guess who else is crazy for truffles? Babarusas? Mm -hmm. Humans! They cost a fortune. Oh, you don't say. I do. Mr. L's boss is coming to dinner tonight, and those truffles are for him. So if Sam so much as sneaks a nibble, they'll freak. <laughs> what about Eugenie? She's never tasted one, so it shouldn't be a problem. But this is not good. Girls, go get me anything you can find to plug up his nose, quick! Hey, buddy, what's up? Come on, <laughs> relax. Take a deep breath. That's all we can find. This is for your own good, dude. <laughs> 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 Hold on a second. I've got an idea. I cured myself of balls of yarn with hypnosis. Let me handle this. Look at me. You do not like truffles. Listen to me. Yeah, that really worked great. Truffles, truffles, truffles. Sam, please, stop! Why did you do that? My truffle tagliatelle is going to be divine if I do say so myself. Mm. <laughs> oh, no. I just couldn't control myself. Sorry. If you're sorry, you better make it clear you did it before we all get in trouble. We can be kicked out or even abandoned for less than that. Let's not be so dramatic. If he doesn't own up, I'll expose you and it'll be back to the forest for everybody. She's right, Wash. It's all my fault. I'm the one who should be punished. Wait, there's got to be another solution. Doubt it. I mean, we know where to find more. And where would that be? In the forest, a.k.a. our old neighborhood. We should be able to go and get back before dinner. Yeah, well, I don't see how you'll ever get enough. No problem. I've got the best truffle detector in the whole world. Sam's snout. Yeah? How are you going to keep him from eating them once he smells them? Working on it. What was that noise? It's nothing. Nothing but nice, fun nature. Okay, let's get going. Wait, don't the truffles only grow near? Yes, Mitch's cave. That's the one little thing. If Mrs. L comes back before those dummies return, I'm the only one who's going to get in trouble. We'll help you. We don't want you to get punished. You're going to help me keep her out of the kitchen. I've got a couple awesome ideas, naturally. Ready? Go! <laughs> <laughs> Thanks 
for keeping me out of trouble. No probs, bro. That's what best friends are for. <laughs> Did someone say best friend? I knew it was you guys. You missed Mitch, didn't you? Uh, actually, no. <laughs> hey, Mitch. What a nice surprise. <laughs> and now we'll never, ever get separated again. No, seriously, Mitch, we're in a hurry. Okay, salad fork, truffle fork, steak knife. Okay, just keep Mrs. L out of the kitchen for as long as possible. Mm -hmm. No, Eugenie, I'll play with you later, Bunny. Out of the way now. setting the table. Oh, the stress is getting to me. You guys could move in with me and do everything I say. It'll be great. You could bring me human food. Mm -hmm. huh? I should tie you up. Maybe you'd like to hang upside down from the tree all night. Oh, you guys want some cricket cookies? Hold on. I forget what a bad temper he has. No kidding. Remember the time we went swimming with him? <laughs> mm? <gasps> oh, you bought snacks. No! <laughs> it's not for you right now. <sighs> it's for after, after the show. Huh? What show? Uh, yeah, what show? The show to celebrate our reunion, Sam. The one we talked about? What are you talking about? We never talked about a show. <laughs> anyway, show time. Sam, why don't we start with a song? Uh, okay. I know Fairy Jacques. Okay. <laughs> Enough! My turn. I'm gonna do a wonderful magic trick. Choose a card. Any card. <laughs> no, honey. No, I'm busy. I'll play with you later. No, don't! You're gonna make me lose my balance. I've got just enough time to go and get new flowers. And you, little rascals, are going to go play in the yard. Shoot! Shoot! Ha <laughs> ha! my nose is starting to itch. Oh, hey, Mitch, I know a great magic trick, too. You do? Watch closely. I'm gonna go all around the cave without touching the ground. Ha <laughs> ha, yeah, right. Sam? Hocus pocus, flying fungus. Ah. <laughs> truffles, truffles, truffles. Bravo! Is this part of the trick? Hey, you get back here and have more fun. Wow, best magic trick ever. Jumbles! 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 We're coming! <laughs> what are you doing in here, you little rascal? Get away from my truffles! Okay, time to cook now. Come on, honey. How could you know your boss was allergic to truffles? Uh, my career is over. Quite possible. 
But what am I gonna do with all of this now? Animals, come in here! <laughs> no point in letting the rest go to waste. Someone should enjoy my masterpiece while it's fresh. Well, you are officially the most spoiled pets in the neighborhood. <laughs> bon appetit, little ones. <laughs> Big deal about these things anyway. <laughs> uh, yum! Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. out on my best moves. Check it! are nowhere in sight. Oh, Washington, sometimes it's as if you live in the wild. Don't you know we're training for the Royal Kibble Dog Show? There's only posters plastered all over town. The winner gets a year's supply of Royal Kibble. What? <laughs> okay. So, how do I enter the show? <laughs> <laughs> oh, please. Impossible. What? What's the problem? Well, it's just that you are... How can I say this? You are one weird dog. What? Like when you bark, for example. Arr, arr, <laughs> woof! Woof! <laughs> okay, now you're just trying to make us laugh. <laughs> it hurts. You'd better go before we laugh to death. <laughs> laugh all you want, but I'm not only going to enter the show, I'm going to win this thing. Come on, guys. I found one. I found one. A poster for the Royal Kibble Dog Show. Way to go, Sam. Okay, let's take it home and put it somewhere where Mr. Livingstone will see it. Okay, Susie, we'll wait for you at home. Don't be too late. Come on, guys. Mmm, spinach nut cake. Oh, yeah. Yeah. What's going on, boy? Huh? Read for me. Royal Kibble is hosting a dog show? Interesting. Nice job, Susie. Thank you. I couldn't let the poster win. Hey, Wash. Maybe we ought to sign you up. How'd you like to be the Royal Kibble King? <laughs> Collab! 
classy stuff, Wash. You're a natural show dog. See? I mean, who can resist that hilarious bark? Let's do this. Okay, this is getting too weird. Roll over. On your hind legs. Heel. Yes, you Nice job. Touch your tongue to your nose. Atta boy. Now, catch. Wash we, I mean, you are gonna win big today. All hail the king! <laughs> now that's a good one. <sighs> Everything looks rosier after a three hour nap. Say, Wash, when you become the new royal kibble king, can I be your bodyguard? Wow, what? Wash, the royal kibble king? That's right, I'm doing the dog show. Uh, that is not a good idea. Oh, I know. You're still mad about that musical wake-up. No, no, Wash, that's not it. The judges, they... Vic, no negative vibes before showtime, okay? But... Sam? Get you, bud. Okay, okay, forget it. I won't say another word. Consider it. Zip. Welcome one and all to the annual Royal Kibble Dog Show. All of our canine contestants will be judged by me, the president of Royal Kibble. But only one of them will become king. Ready to win, champ? Totally. Nothing can stop me now. Well, hello, Livingstone. Hi there, Doc. I figured I'd see you here. Washington here is competing. Why, hello, Washington. Can't wait to examine those teeth of yours. Very unusual, sharp, and pointy. See you soon. Uh, Doc, could you tell me the vet wants to examine my teeth? But, but what do my teeth have to do with a talent show? The key! We've got to find the key so she'll tell us! It's not just a talent show. Winning is also based on physical appearance. The vet inspects teeth, fur, claws. It's the final event only for the 10 best dogs. What? Looks don't mean anything. Right, well, I don't make the rules. You can still win, Wash, I know it. Uh, no, Sam. If the vet examines me, I'll, we'll lose everything. It's like you can't win. Yeah, no negative vibes, remember? This box uh, dog has to perform today. Or maybe I don't. Ready, boy? Here it goes. Washington, give a paw. Well, let's start simple. Roll over. Uh, okay, we'll try again. Sit, boy. Yeah! You're the best, Wash! You can do it, Wash! He can't do it. I guess we withdraw. He's usually very obedient. I... I... Oh, no! Poor Mr. Livingstone! <laughs> Did I say I told you so? It's amazing! He's even worse than our wildest dreams! <laughs> ah, now that's my dog! Yeah! 
Has he gone completely mad? Um, okay then. Next! Now here's a real champion for you. Well done, Wash. Now the vet is going to look you over. <laughs> Good dog. Now open your mouth wide. Come on. I'm his bodyguard. It's up to me to save him. Ah! A wild boar! <laughs> Ladies, gentlemen, and dogs, it has just been brought to my attention that a wild boar is loose in the park. Run for your life! <laughs> Sam just saved my life. But now, who's going to save Sam? Sam's been trapped! <laughs> Washington is in the house! Ow! Oh. A terrific beat! Mission for Sam! Who cares about competing? Let's get down and party! I won! I won! I never win anything! Royal Kibble! Because this dog is king! An entire year of Royal Kibble just for dancing in a commercial? Talk about a dream come true. Next year's contest is just around the corner. We must get funky. Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Sounds like you really don't want her in here. I don't. Okay, well, if that's how you feel. I'll go get her. We bought winter sweaters in a nick of time. <laughs> Who wants a nice hot cup of herbal tea? I do. We do it. This is Eugenie, Susie, and Sam. And of course, you know me, Washington, the guy who saved your life. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> She's so cute. Another girl in the house. <laughs> girl power. Yeah. Here's the deal. She can stay with us until it warms up a bit. Yes! It'll be like having her very own pet. She's a pet pet. Thanks for saving her, Wash. What can I say? Sometimes saving the day just feels right, you know? This definitely feels right. Come on, Moth. We'll show you around.
And last but not least, the watering point. <laughs> okay, enough for today. Last one on the couch is going quickly there. Help it. It's every cat's primal urge to capture that moth. So that's why you didn't want her in here. <sighs> if only you could see the moth for the great addition she really is. Nick, maybe if you got to know the moth, you'd see she's really sweet. Trust me, that moth is the opposite of sweet. Come on, Vic. Remember, you once felt the same way about us. I still do. Huh? Susie and Eugenie, stay on Victoria. Don't let her get our new friend. Hooray, Captain. Captain! Is it just me, or is this the nicest scarf ever? <laughs> huh? <laughs> oh, yes. There are even holes for ventilation. <laughs> on you, everything looks super. Well, that sweet remark just won you another cup oh. of Ylang Ylang. That's what moths do. They eat wool. And you know what else they do? They never leave. This isn't good. Good luck with the new bestie, Captain Idiot. Look, it's going to be OK. We can't get angry at the moth for not knowing the rules of living indoors. I mean, there was a time when we didn't know how to act inside a house either. I still don't understand why we don't all use the toilet. You see, moth, we had to learn to hide our natural instincts so we could live inside this nice house. It's true. I'm not really a cat, I'm a boar. I was born to roll in mud, but the one thing that separates cats from boar is, cats don't like to roll in mud. Really? That's the one thing that separates us? That and your furball problem. Anyway, I still need to roll around in something, so now I use raisins. It pretty much feels the same. And now when I'm done, no mess. I just eat the evidence. <laughs> Either way, I win. Here's my story. Bunnies love carrots. I hate carrots. So I just pretend to like them, and then I bury them in the backyard. And no one knows a thing. I'm a bird pretending to be a bird. Well, I think we've explained to the moth how to get along in the house. Right, moth? Okay, okay, maybe we're just going about this wrong. If we can't get her to stop eating... <laughs> ole, ole, moth! Eat up, little friend. Ah! Problem solved. <laughs> and I thought you'd eat anything. Hmm? I tried, but I choked on the yarn. Wow, for a tiny creature, she can really put it away. Mm-hmm. I'll go find more moth food as soon as I get my own breakfast. Most important meal huh? of the day. Sam, stop! Look at yourself! Ah! What if the living stone see Sam? We're gonna get kicked out of the house for sure! <laughs> uh. Everyone stop panicking! Sam! Until I figure something out, no leaving the room. The elves can't see you, even if it means no breakfast. What? I don't know what to say, Moth. I trusted you. <gasps> Moth! No! You couldn't listen to me. Moths are extremely annoying little bugs. They're not indoor pets. They're indoor nightmares. And it's just going to get worse. <laughs> Worse than no breakfast? I'm so hungry! Sammy? Is that you, boy? Oh. Oops! You need some private time. I'll leave you to it. Ew. 
If I were a moth, where would I hide? Aha! Meow! <laughs> But she was. Where to? What's this she said? May I help you pack? Idea. What if we unscrew every light in the house so the living stones won't be able to see me? I'll only come out at night when it's dark. They'll call me Night Cat. What? Bad idea? Tried, but you're never gonna make it as an indoor pet. You just act too nuts. You think I like acting like this? Oh, you can talk? No one ever likes a moth. No one ever tries to see what's inside. Everyone only focuses on the back. Well, you do eat people's clothes and stuff. I can't help it. You have no idea what it's like not to want to be who you are. Hmm. I think we know a little something about not wanting to be who we are. I mean, I'm a fox pretending to be a dog. Lucky you. I'd do anything to be something else. I have an idea. How about I do what I do, and you do what you do? My behind is extra fuzzy. Well done, Moth. Your turn. <laughs> You're like a princess. <laughs> Not gonna lie, <laughs> she looks pretty good. So, are you ready to head out and see the world, Moth? I'm ready. Thanks, guys. You really are the best. <laughs> ah. hmm. Don't even think about it. Oh, fine, just get it over with. Yeah! I'm gonna miss her. Are you kidding me? This place was crazy when she was here. Just admit it, you like that moth. Please, I only let it kiss me so it would go away. I think I helped you get over your issues with moths. You're welcome. Whatever. Can we please go back to our normal life? And by that, I mean where the only thing driving me crazy is you. Fine. Wild ones, let us resume our mellow, quiet life. Everyone relax. <laughs> yeah. Where's the green bath mat? <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. favorite dish, Mr. Livingstone's too. <laughs> come on, Mr. Livingstone, come home. Now? Now? No! <sighs> Why does Mr. Livingstone go camping anyway? In the woods. Just thinking about it makes me want to store extra calories. It's a human thing, Sam. Going camping helps him get in touch with his primitive self. Hmm? His real, like, Wild self, almost like us. It still makes no sense. 
Mr. Livingstone's natural environment is in front of the TV. So lucky. Ah, it's Mr. L. Who is that guy? Hey, everybody. Mr. Livingstone doesn't look like that. Whoa! What in the world is this new look? Are you really my husband? <laughs> you betcha. Except I feel like a million bucks. How? <laughs> Mr. Livingstone doesn't talk like that. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. What is that? It's a monster! He's eating the monster! I admit, that's <laughs> terrifying. You wouldn't believe how great it feels to get back to real life. Fishing for your food, building campfires, sleeping under the stars. I'm a new man. <laughs> really? Yep. In fact, I want to start building stuff with my hands. <laughs> uh, oh, I thought you were kidding. Of course you should build things with your hands. Of course. Hmm. Are you sure it's Mr. Livingstone? It's his voice. Are you kidding? Look at his face. It's got fur stuck all over it. Uh, what about the monster that keeps coming out of his mouth? It's like Mrs. L doesn't even notice it. But the weirdest thing of all is that costume with a zipper. You guys are right. I think he's got to be an alien from outer space. Uh, what? An E.T., an extraterrestrial. Some of them prefer to be called Martian. Huh? <gasps> oh, forget it. Sometimes I forget how you guys know nothing. But I want to know. <sighs> What's an extraterrestrial? Don't know. They're not from the forest. Hello. Oh. They're from outer space. <laughs> Yeah? Check out those weird-looking humans, Wash. Those aren't humans, Sam. Those are extraterrestrials. Hmm? Look! Fur on their faces! Just like Mr. Livingstone! <laughs> <laughs> If Mr. Livingstone is an extra-restal, he might steal our kibble! No! <laughs> cool it, Sam. I think Vic is trying to take us for a ride. <laughs> Those aliens look a lot like Mr. Livingstone! I think we'd better be careful! Yeah, we gotta hide the kibble! <laughs> the kibble, Sam? That's your main concern? Didn't you see the Martians carry off that adorable family dog? Mm -hmm. But you're right. Kibble must be saved. Sam! Fork it over. I don't trust it under the sofa. My stomach's much safer. Morning, everybody. <laughs> What's with them? I'll feed them. They've been acting kind of distant ever since my absence. He's looking for our kibble. Or he just wants to feed us. But Mrs. L usually feeds us. Honey, where'd you put the kibble? I could have sworn we had some. For now, they can have this. What's with you guys? It's toast. <laughs> well, as you like. Sam, no, it's a trap! <laughs> Whoa, that Martian is smart. He knows I love bread. That's just proof that he knows you, Sam. It has to be Mr. Livingstone. Us and force us into his flying saucer. <laughs> 
his flying saucer? Where, pray tell, is he keeping this flying saucer? Right here. Sam, that's just this shed covered with a tarp, not a flying saucer. Ah! Seriously, what's up with them? They just want to play hide and seek. Not right now, I'm afraid. I've got some building to do. <laughs> Hear that? He's working on his saucer in there. It must have gotten damaged when he landed. Okay, listen, don't move. I'm gonna take a peek. Do you see anything? No. Yes, maybe. So what is it, huh? What is it? Is it a saucer? Yeah, I can't stand it anymore. I have to see. <laughs> What in the? <laughs> it's you. Now you want to be near me. <laughs> okay, you guys were right. That is a flying saucer and he's an alien. Run for your lives! What in the world is wrong with those guys? <sighs> What's he doing? And he's communicating with his Martian friends. What's he saying to them? Probably that he couldn't find our kibble, so he's gonna bring us over dinner. <laughs> <laughs> or at least me. I'm the adorable family dog, remember? <laughs> you really think Martians are scared of wild animals, Wash? Of course they are. That's why they never come to the forest. Hey, what are you dummies doing? When I said Mr. Livingstone was a Martian, it was just a joke. That's what I thought too, Vic. Wash, Mr. Livingstone let his beard grow and got a new sweater on his trip. The pink stuff is called bubblegum. It's just a stage. Mm-hmm. And the flying saucer? Flying saucer? There's no flying saucer. Wash, do you realize what you're about to do? You're going to expose yourself entirely naked in front of Mr. Livingstone. Mm -hmm. Don't listen to her, Wash. The aliens have taken over her brain. Sorry, Vic. It's pretty obvious. Huh? There he is, Sam. Man your station. Honey? 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 you've been using in the shed. The fumes have gone to your head. I mean it, honey. You need some fresh air. Okay, okay. Come with me. I've got something to show you. Oh, no. We blew it. If uh, Mrs. Livingstone hadn't come home, the E.T. would have gone back to his planet. What do you think? It's... It's... A spaceship! Uh, I knew it right from the beginning! What more proof do you need? Yeah, okay. This looks very bad. You're uh, really creative! And I bet your dog here is dying to go uh, for a ride. Washington! Uh, oh, no! no! <laughs> 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 oh, 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 I should have taken more care about the trajectory. Hey there, handsome. I was starting to miss you. Well, hello. It's my old husband. What's wrong with you guys? One would think you saw an extraterrestrial. 
As usual, you guys should have listened to moi. I knew all along Martians were fake. Are you sure? Come on, everyone. Lunch time. Mmm, yummy. Hey. <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. That doesn't look like a cat at all. Hmm. You guys, <laughs> look, look what I just found sitting in the kitchen. I've seen these on the TV box, and this one's brand new. I love it, I love it, I love it. Anyone know what it is? Hmm, easy there. Hello, people. It's a cell phone. This should be good. It goes ring, ring, and you answer it like this. <laughs> Must have been a wrong number. <laughs> there, squeaky clean. Which is more than can be said for Washington. Look at him. <laughs> Someone needs a B-A-T-A. -A. Oh? Uh, booth? We should give the dog a booth? What would he do with a booth? A B-A-T-A. Mm hmm? Ah! Hear that? I'm getting a B-A-T-H! What is it? I have no idea. Well, time for a nap now. A B-A-T-H is, of course, a mechanical belly-scratching device. Um... Here she is, the B-A-T-H 3000. <gasps> Get that a good doggy, good doggy. Or maybe it's a designer snack. Yeah. Would Sir like ketchup on his B-A-T-H? Actually, I think it's a car. A dog car. <sighs> you mangy fake mutt, B-A-T-H spells bath. A bath? With water and soap and medicated conditioner? <laughs> I'll be there with you, Washington. Cats don't get bathed, Ding Dong. They lick themselves clean. Mmm, yum! Tasty! Sam, don't you get it? If the Living Stones bathe me, they'll discover I'm a fox and that you're a big fat boar. <laughs> then it's back to the wild for us. No warmth, no shelter, <gasps> no cable! <laughs> <laughs> what are we gonna do? Hey, I'm trying to sleep over here. Kindly take this meeting of the minds outside. TV mm -hmm. time! This is a nightmare. Do you need to get your meat machine squeaky clean? Yes! Well, then we'll on down to Ed's Mega Wash now! We're, We're coming, coming in! in. <laughs> <laughs> Victoria, watch Eugenie and Susie. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, right. My next nap starts <sighs> now. TV's a better babysitter than me, anyway. Seen it! Seen it! Seen it! Seen it! Victoria, we're bored. <laughs> bored! Bored! <laughs> bored! Bored! <laughs> Quiet! Hmm? Who wants to play an awesome game? <laughs> this has to work. I don't want to go back to the forest. <sighs> <sighs> <laughs> Yay! Not 
not squeaky clean yet, mister. Uh. Ah! Hey, no rush. I'm coming, buddy. It's simple. The first one to blink is the loser. Okay, hmm. we got it. Hmm, well played, Victoria. Ha! Close huh? your eyes! Loser, loser, loser! I'm not playing. I'm asleep. Just because you lost, you're pretending to be asleep. Come on, don't be a sore loser. Hmm, okay. Who'd like to go to the movies? Me, 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 me. That was worse than a hundred booster shots. Sam, I have to stay clean because I could not survive another bath. <laughs> <laughs> it won't be easy. <laughs> but I know I can do it. <laughs> it's a matter of life and death. <laughs> I can only rely on myself. <laughs> like everybody knows, Sam, you're born alone, you die alone. <laughs> Sam, are you going to eat that in front of me? I'm starving here. I'm trying to stay clean, and eating is a dirty, dirty business. Ditch it, Sam. Ditch it for me. Woo! I'm lost. What's happening? The pair of trousers went swimming and got caught in a whirlpool. Oh, oh crazy bubble monsters! If you get hungry, call for pizza. Ah, <sighs> nap time. I just show my clean self to the living stones and it's bye-bye <laughs> bath time. <gasps> Dessert. Delicious, delicious. Dessert. Washington, no! Eating is a dirty, dirty business. I know, I know, but I'm hungry. And I can <laughs> smell it. Sweet dessert. Have mercy. <clears throat> Curse you, Belly, for leading me astray. No, save you, Washington. Uh... I'm okay. I'm still squeaky clean. To wash Washington. I'll help you on one condition. You guarantee me 12 hours uninterrupted sleep. Deal! Sorry, kids, intermission! <laughs> Whoa! These glasses really work. <laughs> Washington! <gasps> in here, and it smells chickeny. <laughs> Where is that dirty dog? I can't breathe. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. I can't find him, honey. Come on, let's stretch this back into shape. <laughs> oh boy, I need somewhere more sanitary to hide. Surprise for you in the bathroom! <gasps> okay, that's enough. <laughs> now, where's Washington? <laughs> Washington! Oh no! He said he was roasting in there! It's okay, I know mouth to mouth. <gasps> uh, Sam, that's a chicken. 
I wondered where that went. Then where's Washington? Washington? I think she's in the bathroom. Yeah. Washington? He started without us. What a good dog. Let's rinse off those bubbles. It's okay, Washington. This will be over in a minute. You've got to do something quick. Open one. <laughs> We get them out! Uh -huh. <laughs> Hang on a minute. All that foam smells mighty minty. Toothpaste isn't cat food, silly. <laughs> <laughs> Washington rinsed all by himself. He's squeaky clean. This photo's gonna look great in the pet gallery. We'll put it right next to Victoria's first hairball. <sighs> what a nightmare. I have taken my first and last bath. I thought foxes were supposed to be smart. Around here, dogs get a bath once a week. Oh, yeah. What? No! 12 hours uninterrupted rest. Guaranteed. <sighs> Washington, <laughs> it's a call for you! Stay away! <laughs> Take the message, I'm not home! Yes, you are! Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Girls want to learn to bake cookies? Maybe I'll give you a little cookie dough for a treat. Oh, yay! We're gonna make cookies! Yippee! <laughs> you may have to compete with Washington. Some fun tonight! Huh? We are? Oh, yes, we are! <laughs> It'll be fun for the whole family! You'll see! <laughs> okay, come on, tell me what it is! It's something no cat can resist! It's a laser pen! And not just any laser pen, it's the Phantom Red 3000! Let the games begin! <laughs> Come on, don't catch it! Whoops, I'm too fast for you! <laughs> what is that thing she's chasing? I don't know, but whatever it is, she really wants it. We meet again, Red Dot, but this time you will be mine! <laughs> Sam, what's wrong? <laughs> what kind of cat doesn't want to catch the dot? Did you hear that, Sam? You gotta catch that dot! But I don't care about the dot. Well, you better fake it. Fake it? <laughs> Sam, if you don't get out there and catch that dot, Mr. L is going to find out you're not really a cat. <clears throat> catch the dot. Catch the dot. Go on, champ. Catch the dot. Catch the dot. Catch the dot. Huh? I'll catch you, red dot. <laughs> Sam. I've never seen a cat with such horrible aim! <laughs> 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 
What? Stand in my way, you clumsy boar! <laughs> oh, I'm suddenly married to a big kid. He's going crazy with that toy. <laughs> Get it, Sam! Get it! By any means necessary! Out of my way! There are only winners in this family! Win, win, win! Done! Get it, Sam! If you love this comfy life, you'll catch that dot! Red dot! Red dot! Come on, Sam, I'm with you! Come on, Sammy, you're the best! Come on, Sam! Red dot! Red dot! Must catch the red dot! <laughs> Sam, you're the clumsiest cat ever! Hmm. <laughs> 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 red dot, red dot, must catch the red dot at all costs, at all costs. If I didn't know any better, I'd say he isn't faking it anymore. At all costs, at all costs. Red dot, red dot. Red dot, red dot, red dot. <laughs> <laughs> You don't want any of this leftover cookie dough? Huh? Oh boy! Cookie dough! Gimme, 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 gimme! <laughs> red dot, red dot, must catch the red dot at all costs! <laughs> red dot! <sighs> you can do it, champ! That dot is yours! Don't give up now! You're so close! Now listen to me! Carve into those turns when the dot takes those corners. Now, don't let Vic intimidate you. Just get right up there in front of her. Even if her claws do hurt a little. Oh yeah, and can you try not to whiz by Eugenie and Susie so much? They're pretty dizzy. I love this game. Red dot, must catch the red dot. You know you're never gonna get it, right? Dot. Wait, what? Red How do you know that? Because, hello, no cat has ever caught the red dot before. Huh? The cat who finally does catch the red dot will become the enlightened feline leader. Hmm. But that is pretty much definitely no way going to be Sam. No offense, Sam, but you are definitely not a cat. <laughs> And since I'm the only cat here, that means you're going to lose. Oh! <laughs> Catch the dot! Catch the dot at all costs! Catch the dot! <laughs> huh? You really can't catch the... <laughs> 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 I think I need a timeout. Good idea. <laughs> red dot. Get the red dot. <laughs> Come on, get it, Sam. Oh, yeah. <laughs> get it, Vic. <laughs> oh, boy. This has to end. I gotta talk to Sam. Uh, Sam, listen, buddy, we gotta talk. Uh, I think Vic's right. You're never gonna catch that dot. So, you should stop now. Catch the dot. Catch the dot. Sam? Catch the dot. Catch the dot. 
Tell him, Vic. Tell him. Red dot. 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 That stupid red dot has turned this entire household upside down. Stupid red dot. Making everyone crazy. Destroying everything. Stupid dot. Stupid dot that cannot be caught. I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. What are you doing? I want to bet with a squirrel. That sandwich is mine, but I gotta get to it. Yeah, um, have you thought about climbing like an actual real cat? Oh, of course. That was my plan B. Stuck in a tree? Now that's video gold! Oh, wait, is that Sam? Real cat. Real cat. Go, huh? Sam! Uh, go! No. no, Sam! No! <laughs> Ha! <laughs> 
<laughs> well, Sammy, you certainly earned that sandwich. And you gave me some priceless footage here. Bon appétit! <laughs> 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 Sam, we weren't laughing at you, we were laughing at the way you felt. It's different. Do we? Uh, Sam, hey, there you are. <sighs> Great. I guess you already heard that I fell out of a tree. Mm -hmm. <sighs> no, seriously, you're a natural barn comedian. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh, yeah! But, Vincent, how did you... Hi, Sam. I just wanted to say congratulations on your success. I admit I'm surprised. Yeah, thanks? Wait! What is going to... <laughs> Good! You ask him now, you! Uh, Sam, can you sign an autograph for us? Yeah. <laughs> we can probably sell it. We're never selling it. Yeah, uh, sure, if you want. What should I write? Uh, can you put two nugget with all my love? No! Oh, for Fluffy and Nugget! But mostly for Fluffy! <sighs> girls, girls, how about this? <laughs> Will someone please tell me what's up with Sam? Uh, what? You don't know? Uh, and G, Washington. Oh, and quick! Sam's in the computer! What? I, I'm not in the computer. I'm, I'm right here. <laughs> I get it. Mr. L shared that video of you online. It appears that tumble you took is a big hit, Sam. A star? I'm a star! Whoa! Well, for today, anyway. It must be from one of my goof tube fans. Yeah? <laughs> Gee, I don't care for one. Thanks. I love being a star. <laughs> and all you did was fall out of a tree. People have such weird taste. For once, we agree. <laughs> Excuse me, do you have an appointment? No, I was just bringing these... Uh, sorry, Sam is swamped. Lots of fan mail, you understand. He's booked up until at least tomorrow. Yeah. Well, then can you hold these until then? Complicated. I bet you hold it like this. If Sam can become a star with a stunt that stupid, just imagine what a triple jointed fox like me can do. You shoot, I perform. I don't know if I want to get involved in your wild animal games. Hmm, really? But I think of you as a director type, bossy. Hmm? Well, I am very visual. I suppose this would be easy enough. When do we start? So here's the deal. I rollerblade onto the trampoline, get shot into the air, and land on the mattress. You've told me this three times. I got it. Take one. My 
my costume. Who's gonna notice? Come on, we need to take two. <sighs> Actors. Wow, all those clicks, it's a success. People love me. <laughs> it's still increasing. the star now. Yeah, well, if you want my opinion, it's mostly thanks to the director's talent. Way to go, Wash. Hey, can we play too? Oh, yeah, we want to make a film. <laughs> You're too little to pull off something that sophisticated. We'll talk in five years. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I just need to borrow this for a second, thanks. Vincent? Yes, sir? You've just been promoted to director. You're going to film me. I've always wanted to work in film. Hmm? Ah! <laughs> Trust me, it will be hilarious. I guess so. In three, two, one, rolling! So he wants to play dirty. Well, now it's four! Washington! Washington! Boy, am I ever going to teach that little rat a thing or two about filmmaking. Washington! 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 <laughs> should expand your of. Agree. I need to keep it fresh. <laughs> 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 when you hit the steel girder the first time. Right, so it's a tie. Why don't we just say we're both stars, huh? That's fine with me. I think I'm gonna take a nap. Stardom is very exhausting. There's no way we're gonna let those two losers win. I know we can outdo them. I've got tons of awesome ideas, Watch. Sam! You can't do this to me. We've got to make the third part of our trilogy. What? <laughs> what was that? Oh, look. That's our video. <laughs> you really are funny when you sleep. What? That's the internet blockbuster of the year? Oh, wait. There's not even any action. <sighs> I should have kept all the takes of Wash without his costume. It could have been huge. Gotta run. I need to seriously think about a career move. Filmmaking may not just be the right choice for me. Mm. 